Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabe with Jalen Fan TV, man. Back at you another video. If you like the content in this video, go and smash that like button. If the content in this channel, go ahead and subscribe, man. Look, uh, and as you can tell by the background, we are not in Maryland right now. I am in Michigan. As you can tell by the lion stuff everywhere, I'm in the uh, the lion's den. Um, you know, so if down in Michigan, uh, they are celebrating their 10 year anniversary of marriage. So, congratulations to them, the Dunnigans. And uh, yeah, so that's why I'm in the lion's den. If you want to see, this is like a uh, a wall of his friends, and I'm I'm on here, whatever, and lion stuff and lion's gear and everything like that. So uh, yeah, you know, he has a really cool setup down here, uh, lions jerseys, all kinds of stuff in here. So it's a nice setup. Uh, but yeah, that's why you see all this lion stuff in the background. Okay, all right. Now let's talk about the Baltimore Ravens, right? Uh, so the Ravens uh, go from winning 24 straight uh, preseason games to losing their last two. Now, don't really care, right? I mean, not here to talk about the fact that they lost the preseason game. Don't really care. 26-20, uh, final score. But you know how we do it. You know, we give the um, standout performers, talk about some guys who play well, things like that. That's what we're going to do. Uh, I think Then I think tomorrow maybe we'll do like a um, the 53-man roster prediction. I think on Tuesday, that's when the final cutdown happens. So, all right. Now, as for today, uh, first play, first play I'm going to talk about is uh, Owen Wright. Uh, 12 carries, 89 yards, one touchdown, a long 38-yard run. Well, he shows some explosiveness, right? Um, the first two games, I thought that, uh, well, not, I don't know if you, I don't remember him exactly in the Eagles game, but I do remember him playing in the second game, uh, after Keith, especially after Keith Mitchell got hurt. Uh, I thought that he was okay. Um, was kind of like a little, a little slower, or whatever, getting into it. I thought maybe speed just wasn't his game, but this game versus the Buccaneers, he showed some explosiveness. He got through the gap, hit the gap hard, powerful runner. Um, I like what he did out there. Uh, now listen, the Ravens running back room is, uh, completely filled with, with, with talent already. Um, so I'm not sure. I don't think he's a guy that's going to make the 53. I'm pretty positive. He's a guy that's not going to make the 53, but we'll see. Maybe he's a practice squad guy or, you know, he, he gets cut and goes somewhere else. Um, but impressive showing for him, final preseason game. The the thing with these guys is in these games, you're auditioning for the other 31 teams as well. So it ain't just about is he going to make the Ravens or not. Um, you know, other teams saw him. The Bucks saw him right, right in front of their eyes. And the other team can, can scoop him up and say, hey, look, we like what that kid did. Let, let's get him over here. You know what I mean? So on the right, I like what he did, impressed by it. Um, yeah, so uh, I think I only have three. I got one. I got him on offense. Um, I actually got two on offense, then I got one on defense, right? Um, second guy I'm going to mention is, um, I'm going to mention Charlie Kohler again, all right? Four catches, 45 yards, and he seems to be getting better each game. Uh, he's playing like a true tight end, right? You know, I think that before, he's kind of just getting his feet wet, getting used to playing. He missed most of the last season, but then when he came in, I thought he played well. I thought he was decent last year. And this year, they said he's leaned up, added even more muscle to his game, to his body. And um, he's using it well, right? Uh, I think that he's a big target. And I think I know he is a big target. And he's using his frame well. And uh, I like what Charlie Kohler is doing for the Ravens this preseason. Um, I think his spot is obviously pretty much locked up on the 53 as a, as a, as a third tight end on the roster. So, uh, Charlie Kohler... I am very, very happy with his progression this preseason. And say um, the Ravens were to suffer injury at tight end, I feel confident with him filling in at, at, at that spot. Uh, and also, you know, there's going to be some rotation, right? Um, Todd Monk is going to give the Ravens a lot of different looks out there. And Charlie Cole, I think, will play at least some part um, this season. You know what I mean? So I'm happy that he's progressing, right? All right. I want to talk about one player on defense, right? This is a guy I kind of I've been holding off on giving credit to because I just wanted to see if he's going to do it continuously, 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 and um, he just he just continuously played good. So I'm gonna say Delshawn Phillips, man. Um, eight tackles, four solo tackles. Um, it seems like every game, every practice, he's kind of all over the field, right? When the Ravens signed Delshawn Phillips last season, he was always he was a guy that. Um, when they signed him, they, they really just said, we need a body, so special teams, right? He came from the Jets. That's what he was known as. He was a special teams ace on the Jets. Uh, he came over here. That's kind of what he was billed as or what he was going to do for the Ravens. Um, and that's what he did last year. He played special teams, right? And there's, there's, there's no, um, 
there's no downgrade in that. Like, that's an important job, right? You don't want to give up punt return touchdowns, kick return touchdowns, whatever. You want to be able to block up, you know, down the field, you know what I mean? So it's an important job. Uh, but this offseason, he's really taking his game to maybe the next level for himself, right? Um, uh, you know, we do a training camp report, man. Back to back days, he's picking up Josh Johnson. Uh, back to back days, he's, he's having good coverage on guys like Isaiah Likely, um, who is shifting. You know, Isaiah Likely could do one on one. I'm not saying he was winning every time, but he was winning some battles. Um, so now we get to preseason, that play just continues to be there. Uh, Delshawn Phillips is a guy that I don't know if he's going to play himself onto the roster. The Ravens have a lot of guys. Um, well, they have guys at that spot. I don't know how many linebackers they're going to keep, right? You know, you obviously got Roquan Queen. Uh, depends on how they count Trenton Simpson. They count him as outside or inside linebacker. Still got Malik Harrison. Um, so, yeah, that's something that I'm going to, you know, talk about when we do the 53-man roster. But he's played well enough to be mentioned. Um, he played well in the Eagles game. Uh, he, he's played well in this game. Uh, the Commanders game, I believe he was he, he was good in that one too. I can't remember exactly what his stats were on the top of my head, but um, he deserves to be mentioned. So, uh, Deshaun Phillips, uh, eight tackles, four solos, just another play all over the field. Only thing he really gave up was uh, I think Trey Palmer went on top of his head across the middle for a completion for about maybe twenty yards or so. But at the end of the day, you know that, that is a wide receiver on a tight uh, wide receiver on a linebacker, excuse me. And um, you know those kind of, those kind of plays can happen, right? You know, would you love to see him get his head around, sure, but you know it happens. Uh, so those three guys stand on performance for sure. Um, but I do want to talk about a couple of other players um, in the game. Um, Josh Johnson played well again. Uh, put the poll out, right? Uh, should jo- who who should be the Raiders' number two quarterback? Uh, you guys are still all behind Tyler Huntley. I, I'm I'm on that kind of train as well. Uh, by the time I recorded this video, I think it was like 80 percent Tyler Huntley. You know what I mean? That 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 could change. I don't know, but it's like 80 percent Tyler Huntley. You feel me? So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm on that train as well. I think Tyler Huntley still is the backup quarterback. But I do like what Josh Johnson has done. And I understand why it's been a QB competition because he has experience with Ty Munkin. And each game, he's grown more and more impressive. That first drive to open the game, I think it was like four plays, 80 yards, touchdown. Very impressive, right? Very, very impressive, right? Um, I'm never going to be a guy to uh, discredit a player and it never changes opinion on that player, right? First game, I wasn't impressed with uh, Josh Johnson. These last two games, he's impressed me, you know, and I'm going to always stand on there and be be completely honest with that. So, Josh Johnson played really well. Um, backup quarterback, Anthony Brown. Every time I see Anthony Brown play, I just think he has a lot of talent. Uh, he's raw, took a lot of sacks, took four sacks. But um, his capability, arm talent, I mean, you're talking about the play, he rolls out to the, um, rolls out to the right, sorry, to the left. And throws it back across his body to um to, to Demas Jr. Uh, for like what forty seven yards something like that down the field, so impressive. You know what I mean? Couldn't, couldn't get the get couldn't get the job done at the end in the last two minutes. Uh, but like I said, he's a young quarterback. I'm not expecting him to be the Ravens starter anytime soon. You know, obviously like anything like that. So I'm not looking for that from him. But he could be a number two guy if the Ravens decide to move on from Tyler Huntley, say next year. Right? You, know, you never know what could happen. Right? Um, so yeah, I, I, I liked him, uh, Trent Will caught a touchdown, uh, so that's good for him. I still think Tylen Wallace is probably going to be the Ravens number six wide receiver, you know what I mean? Just because like, we talked about special teams and he's done a lot of receiver. So, you know, I still think that's going to be that guy. And uh, let me see if I want to mention anybody else. So, um, no, I'm not gonna mention anybody else. I'm not saying anybody else, not to say that anybody else didn't have a good game, but you know, we're just gonna leave it there. So uh the Ravens lose to the Buccaneers 26 to 20. Uh it's preseason. I mean, not to be already talking about wins or losses. We're talking about players who play well. And I gave you a couple of those guys. So um on right, um, Charlie Kohler again, and um Delshawn Phillips, man. So so uh give me your stand-up performance in the comments. Let me know who you uh or let me know who you think played well. Uh, give me your reasons why. Hey, tell me, do you think this guy that played well will make the 53-man roster, right? Because uh, that's what we're talking about here. Who's going to be there active day, game one versus Texas because regular season football is here, man. So uh, thank you guys for watching. You should at this point in the video, man, consider hitting that subscribe button. Uh, but I'm going to get out here. It's Gabriel. It's Fan TV.